All right, so I'm here in the studio with one of my favorite people, Aww. Heidi Horn. How well, are you? Thank you, Robert. Thank you, I'm Miss doing Heidi. awesome. Doing awesome. <laughs> so, um, Amy, board member. Yes, I am. Chair of the Finance Committee. That's right. And uh, lots of other things. How long have you been involved with Amy now? Oh, you know, I was trying to remember this the other day. I mean, it's been at least 15 years plus. I try not to say. A spell. Like, it's, it's been a while. It's been a, a spell, while, as yes. we would say. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I've been involved in a lot. And uh, what we're talking about today is actually was part of my involvement with the Technology Management Council. That's right. You remember the te yeah, Technology I, I Management a, Council I was the chair of well. that, yeah. Yeah. And so... Uh, Probably more committees than I either know or have time to list, actually. But I, I do love Amy. That, before we go to all that, what are you doing now? What do you do? Oh, yeah. keep yourself busy yeah, these well, days? Well, I am staying busy. Um, well, thank you for asking. So, yeah, I just started my own consulting firm okay. in April. So, okay. uh, yeah, and so I'm now consulting. And, uh, Heidi Horn, HTM Consulting. You know, I there you go. wasn't very creative, but <laughs> it gets the point across. So, you know anyway. what? I, I, I started a company at one point. I did a consulting firm uh, in between a couple of things, and uh, I named it uh, R. Burroughs and Company. Mm -hmm. And it only paid off one time. I met met somebody. I don't remember who it was, and they said, "Oh, you're R. Burroughs." R. Burroughs. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> I'm, like, I looked yeah. at those I'm the guy that put it on the card. So that's there you right. Go. That's right. So yeah. What, what are your focus areas? What are you What are you focusing on? So, consulting um, practice. Yeah, is uh, one of the things I'm really really um, excited about doing is I'm helping. Not only HDM organizations, you know, HDOs and everything else, but also uh, medical equipment manufacturers, suppliers of uh, medical equipment, all of that, um, helping them basically better perform. And what we know in the industry is that nobody has enough staff. You know, it's like everybody's trying to do more things with less people. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of projects and initiatives out there that they just don't have time for or they don't have the expertise for. Mm -hmm. And so what I am doing is I'm helping them out with those um, things that they want to do but don't mm -hmm. have the time for. Yeah. So, very good. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah. Well, it's going to keep you very busy, but you'll still have another 12 hours in the day for Amy. That's so it's right. Perfect. So, yeah. so speaking of 12 hours in the day, so you mentioned you're on the uh, Technology Management Council. Yep, I was. Uh -huh. uh, and the chairperson of that as I, well. Yes, that was and last so, year, yeah. So you guys produced a product, and I'm going to get the name wrong, so you help me with okay. this. It's like the Amy Standards. Yeah. They're not the most graceful name sometimes, it, it, but they're yeah. very descriptive. Right. They're very descriptive. Right. So it's the Amy Planned Maintenance and Compliance Definitions. And Definitions Guide. Correct. I yes. did okay. You did a that great job right. at that. So what, yes. is this, what is this document? So, so yes. Uh, so I was the uh, chair of the Technology Management Council. I actually rotated it off. Uh, but when we were doing this, we broke into different subgroups. Mm -hmm. And I was part of the subgroup, and you know, we, we were looking at things that were really important in the industry, and what could we do, and put some guidance documents together, not standards, but guidance documents mm -hmm. together to help HTM organizations um, and BMETs and everyone else really understand the whole concept around PMs, okay? Mm -hmm. And so what had happened was that um, a few years ago, CMS came out with this concept of 100% PM completion. Mm -hmm. And, you know, those of us who were running HTM organizations at the time, like, what does that mean? You know, does, does PM completion mean, okay, I touched 100% of all the devices, I performed a PM, and did all the tasks that were involved in completion? Well, quite frankly, that's not possible because mm -hmm. you can't find the devices, you know, many of the devices. Those clinicians keep using them. They're, you're right. They're, they're, they're not found. They won't let you take them off the patient. <laughs> exactly. And you don't want to do that. Yeah. Or they're Sorry, in Sorry, we'll be right back. Or there's a variety of reasons, but right. you can't get to all of them. So, you know, what we found is that 100% PM completion, as it, you know, a lot of people were defining, really an impossibility. And so we wanted to get some guidance to HTM folks about what, uh, a new concept, what we call PM compliance. Mm -hmm. And that's really was putting the focus back on managing the PMs properly, managing your PM program properly, and you know, focusing on getting to the, the devices um, as soon as possible, but not- So defining success yes, properly. Yes, exactly, right, thank right. you. So, um, so that was what the whole guide's about. So it's really mm -hmm. like, you know, what the difference between PM compliance versus PM uh, completion, and how to properly manage a PM program. Right. And um, so it's a free document. You can right, read, available uh, on the Amy uh -huh. website. Right. It, uh, and you wrote it all yourself. That's how these no, things work, No, I right? did not. No. <laughs> no, I did not. I had a wonderful team, and I do want to give them a shout out. So on this sub team that we, uh, mm -hmm. and we worked on this for a good year probably, but it was Maggie Berkey, uh, yeah. Blake Collins, mm -hmm. Barbara McGuire, Colleen Hogan-Ortiz, 
and Daniel McGeary. You're Daniel. There you yeah. go. Yeah, there so go. Um, we all worked together on this, and it did get a you know a lot of scrubbing by other uh, folks in the TMC and Peer on review. Amy. Yeah, but yeah, and uh, we even had Joint Commission take a look at but it. I, so. I, I think it's worth focusing on that a bit because we have folks watching this who are not as active in Amy mm -hmm. yet mm -hmm. uh, as as you have been over the years. But to understand the value of what we do is that understanding that community approach, right. consensus approach in the right. case of standards and, and committee based documents. But everything we produce. Has a has a peer review process has a has a, a sort of a best in breed review. So exactly. so part of that structure of how we do that is the TMC. So say a little bit about that because folks may not know what the TMC is. Yes. Um, so Amy has uh, what we call the Technology Management Council. Mm -hmm. You need to be um, selected. You know you can nominate get nominated or nominate yourself to be or on it to a board and, or yeah. other advisory yeah. body. And yeah. there is a selection process, and they have twenty six people, I believe, on that one. Um, and they, they try to get a variety of people from different backgrounds, you know, uh, whether they're, we have, you know, some BMETs, we have people that are part of HDOs, we have manufacturers, mm -hmm. we have people in the sterilization, you know, so it's a variety of people that are on that team and they're all wanting to come up with different ideas or different guidelines to help, you know, the mm -hmm. um, Amy constituents, essentially. Right. So and you kind of divide into work group or choose your topics or your focus yeah. areas and divide yeah, your work we, groups. We talked about like, you know, what's important, you know, whether it's, uh, they've talked, they've done a ton of stuff, whether it's cybersecurity, um, they've done guides on that, they've done, you know, AEM guides, they've, they've done a number of different things that uh, those TMC as well as the, um, was it, Health Technology Leaders. HTLC, yes. yep, yep, uh, council. acronyms. <laughs> right, I know, I have to think about that for a second. Uh, acronym And uh, so there's yeah. a number of you know, again, free guides or whatever uh, resources that Amy has out there on its webpage that have been produced by these people. Right. And all obviously volunteering. Yeah, absolutely. And so let me put you on the spot a little bit more. Uh oh, you didn't know um, you were going to do this. So, oh, it's easy though. <laughs> okay. So you're, you're part of that activity, you're mm -hmm. the chair. Um, sometimes folks will hear about something like this and then come and go, I want to be on the TLC <laughs> or yeah. uh, uh, the yeah. TMC, sorry. Yeah. TLC. There's my first <laughs> blooper reel. Uh, so the TMC, and it's like, you know, you don't go from never heard of Amy to being on the TMC right. overnight. There's there's things you look at. So I know some things are, have you written articles? Have you been mm -hmm. involved? Have you presented at Amy Exchange? But right. say, say a little bit more about what you look for in folks uh, yeah. for well, positions you know, like that. How, how do people build up their career to that point? Well, that, that's you know, not where you start. It's not. And, and I think you pointed out some, you know, you get involved, you do some presentations. Um, and just because you're not on a particular committee, there's a number of different opportunities. Again, if you go to that Amy website, it'll tell you how to get involved kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So there's a number of different things you can get involved in, um, you know, and, and the list goes on, and that's probably the best place to see. But, you know, start working that and express interest. Right. Um, say, you know, I do We're a very yeah, open we're, group. Yes, we are. <laughs> and, and honestly, um, you know, we're very much encouraging you know, uh, diversity across the board, whether it's diversity from, yep. yeah, backgrounds and everything. Um, and so, you know, that's another thing that we're looking at. We, we don't want to have it all stacked up, like everybody on the TMC is from, uh, health system, right, you know, you want right. a variety, or everybody's, you know, a HTM leader or whatever. You right, want right. a variety of people from different areas and everything else that can add to uh, add to that. So. Okay, perfect, yeah. perfect. Well, thank you for everything you've done over the years. Well, thanks. <laughs> no, I've, loved, we'll continue, I've loved every minute of it. We'll continue to take your other 12 hours every day. <laughs> oh, I, I have no doubt about it. So, yes. And it's been fantastic.